Hey guys, David the Fishing Pastor here, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite ways of fishing, and that's crankbait fishing. Okay, so before I even get into the crankbaits, I just want to give a huge shout out to my wife. Uh, I don't even know if she's going to watch this, but um, today's actually my birthday, and normally she works. Today's Thursday. She works all day, um, but she, she actually took the day off and said, go fishing in the morning, and so uh, she's, just, she's just the best in the world, so thank you so much for that. And... Okay, so I want to talk to you about... Um, the crankbait's honestly one of my favorite ways of fishing. It's power fishing. You're casting out. You're reeling in. Uh, you know, you're, you're you're fighting fish on it. It's so much fun. I definitely love crankbait fishing. Anytime that I can, uh, I'm gonna be crankbait fishing. And so, uh, let me just show you my crankbaits, my my crankbait box here. Here I have square bills. Here I have lipless crankbaits. Uh, here I have mid depth and some kind of miscellaneous. Uh, crankbaits and at the top here I have deep diving and then larger square bill crankbaits. I'm going to talk about each one uh, because each one is 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 different and each one is uh, you know important. So let me uh, let me start off with the square bill crankbaits and I do have a whole bunch. I have some KVD 1.5s. I have um, Livingston. I have uh, a Rick Clune. I have a live target bait ball there. Uh, you know so just different ones here. But definitely, um, definitely one of my favorites is the uh, KVD 1.5, and I like these um, because they're relatively inexpensive. You know, between four fifty and six bucks, compared to some other ones. The Livingston one cost me eleven bucks. The um, Life Target one was probably like eleven, twelve bucks around there. So I don't buy real expensive ones often. Especially because sometimes you do get hung up, you do break off. Uh, it's, it happens much less, and I'm going to talk about that um, in, in in a little while. But the square bill crankbait, uh, first off, dives about two to five feet. Generally, a square bill crankbait, two to five feet. So you're you're covering more shallow water. Um, you know, definitely, I'm I'm going to be throwing along the banks, or if I'm in a shallow pond or something, I'm going to be using one of these. Um, you know, just 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 casting along the bank, bringing it back, deflecting off of stuff, and so again, two to five feet. The bill is actually desi designed to deflect off of cover. So if you're hitting, if you're fishing a a riprap bank, if you're fishing um, uh, boulders, if you're fishing laydowns, whatever it is, uh, it's designed to hit off of that cover and deflect off of it. And a lot of times, it's in the deflection. Um, that the fish will come up and actually and actually bite it. You can do different retrieves. You can do cadences. I love steady retrieves. I, I, for me, that kind of works the best as a steady retrieve. You can kind of drag it in and reel up the slack. There's a lot of ways you can do it, and we're going to talk about that with the gear and how to fish it and all that. But uh, the square bill crankbait definitely, definitely uh, one of my favorites. I. I almost always have a square bill crankbait unless I'm gonna you know do I know I'm gonna go deeper or whatever but uh, a square bill crankbait is always great so that's the square bill there so uh, that was a square bill this is the lipless crankbait also one of my favorites uh, I don't always have one tied on but uh, in certain places I, I will um, uh, very versatile uh, you can fish them kind of in every single depth <clears throat> of, of the water, in every water column. You can fish it in the upper, the middle, or the lower water column. That's what I really love about it. It doesn't have a bill like the other ones. Um, you know, it has kind of a different action, and a lot of them have the rattles inside. Not all of them, you can get them silent, uh, but a lot of them have the rattles inside. Some square bills do as well, not all of them do. There's even different materials, plastic and balsa wood and stuff like that. I'm not really going to get into that. but. Um, but definitely the lipless crankbait, one of my favorites, but I do fish this differently than I would uh, any kind of build crankbait. And, and again, I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, next one I have here is um, a mid-diving crankbait. This is uh, a Rapala DT6. The, uh, the lipless was a uh, Rapala Rip and Wrap, which is my favorite. This is a Rapala DT6. Uh, it dives six feet, maybe a little bit more, 
and uh, body's a little bit different but you can see the bill on this one is actually round as opposed to a square bill now these again they fish differently they will they will not deflect uh, as good as a square bill so you're more likely to get hung up if you're fishing around cover and things like that but it will go a little bit deeper there's different kind of mid depths this is a Berkeley wild thing um, and this one is not really a square bill uh, but it's not also a round bill this one's uh, really different from the other ones this one has a very erratic motion this bill was designed to give it a very erratic motion um, and it's it's designed to be fished a very certain way and again I will be talking about that you have your uh, if I can get it out here Let's see you have your flat-sided crankbaits again not necessarily a square bill kind of close um, this is the the scatter wrap with a different kind of bill now this one's designed to have a very wide wobble on there and each one kind of has a different uh, different motion to it I do also have some jointed crankbaits uh, again longer bill there but these have a different movement in the water you know different things like that so those are the mid diving and um, you know different depths six eight maybe ten feet but usually these will go about six to eight feet the, the wild thing this one's designed for about eight eight and a half feet the DT6 uh, for six feet and it is also very shallow uh, kind of wake baits you know they kind of look like crank baits but these will fish zero to two feet of water so you know just different kinds for different depths for different situations for different bodies of water different colors i know some people you know only stick to to, to certain colors i kind of do as well uh, i i will stick to a shad color a bluegill color and generally uh, a craw color those are kind of the three that i stick with so those are those i have uh some other square bills these are uh, KVD 2.5 so they're just square bills but they're larger in size um, you know could try to entice some of those larger fish and then I also have some deep divers and again you'll see the bill changes um, pretty dramatically much larger bill uh, larger body it's gonna get down there this one dives 12 feet uh, that's a KVD I'm mean, sorry that's a strike king it might be a 5 -8. 5XD or whatever it's called. This is a Rapala. Uh, this one dives 13 to 14 feet. So you see different kind of kinds of crankbaits uh, for different situations. Um, you know, with the with the deep divers, a little bit more chartreuse. You're getting you're getting deeper. Water is darker. You want to be able to be more visible, but you can use any kinds of colors. So that is my crankbait box. Now let me talk to you a little bit about uh, what I use to throw crankbaits on.